It's, I reckon it's the, it's the toughest drug race in existence in the world for the motor car and for the driver. Now the big bangers are chasing the small cars hard and the race is really on. Giorgio Gatti of the Automobile Club Palermo. Secondo me è questo che qualsiasi pilota di allora Every driver of the time, from the Rodriguez brothers to Sifford, from Vaccarella to Elford, wanted to enter in his own list of trophies a Targa Florio victory, because the 72-kilometer run was a real glory for the driver. You really had to drive, even if the Targa Florio was not a very fast race, except on the Golfo Arnello stretch. The Ferrari GTO is also in for a quick check on its fore and aft rebuilding. Scarfiot is still in second place, but soon there's drama in the Ferrari pit when team manager Dragoni learns that the car's steering has gone and it's a bit bent in consequence. The six kilometer straight along the coast. 20 years ago, Mike Parks managed 280 kilometers an hour here in a Ferrari. And another memory of the Targa from Giorgio Gatti. Le posso dire un... adesso non ricordo l'anno esattamente. There was a year when Vaccarella and the Ferrari team arrived second on a Ferrari. They were beaten by a Porsche 911, which was very light in comparison. I remember the great driver Fangio saying jokingly, in comparison, Vaccarella was driving a lorry, not a racing car. For example, the rapport of the two machines says that Vaccarella was driving a car, not a racing car. Vaccarella is going even faster. That too takes him less than the magic 40. 39.5 miles an hour is his speed. Vaccarella is going even faster. That too takes him less than the magic 40. 39.21 to be exact. 39.3 seconds inside the previous record. There's that GTO again after modifications. Vaccarella in action. Manioli. But the other three works Ferraris are still going and Bandini has time to get his shoes right before Vaccarella comes in at the end of the third lap. Nina Vaccarella has won his co-driver a lead of nearly five minutes and the prancing horse of Modena has his hopes well up. For Nino Vaccarella, how big a problem was fatigue in keeping out of danger? No, this no, I was always present where I was, I was sure. I was always aware, always sure of what to do. Sometimes tiredness made it difficult for me to drive at my best. We were always with one hand on the gear lever, changing gear hundreds of times. I always drove with one hand. I'm the only Sicilian to have given a really good performance in Targa Floria, fighting on the same level as the international drivers. Si è opposto alla alla bravura dei piloti internazionali. Do the people of the mountain still remember Nino Vaccarella? <laughs> they come to greet me. There are new drivers, but those who know me remember me. Quelli che mi conoscono si ricordano ancora di me. Names and places survive from the great days of the Targa because so much of the island's landscape is remote and safe from change. The famous descent to the valley of the river Salito and up again the other side to the heights of Caltevaturo. Count Florio's road race had 295 corners each lap with a gear change on every one of them. 
If competitors got back to the pits clocking anywhere near 40 minutes for the 72-kilometer course, they were doing very well indeed. And still, Bandini's Ferrari continues to set the pace. With the Ford in trouble, the Malioli Porsche is up to third place overall. Io penso che il pilota siciliano qui ha un certo vantaggio. I think that the Sicilian driver had a certain advantage. Being at home, he knows the road particularly well, as was my case, having had the possibility of coming down every day for the tests. I don't know how many thousand runs I've made on these roads that I know like my own house. The Sicilian drivers had a definite advantage over the foreign ones. To what extent did Nino Vaccarella believe the Targa Florio races were important in making Sicily better known far beyond the frontiers of Italy. The Targa Florio has been very important to Sicily. When I was racing abroad, I remember people telling me, for example, in the United States, Sicily, Mafia, Targa Florio. These were the two things they remembered. This competition, the oldest in the world, together with Indianapolis, has made Sicily known the world over. For me, the Targa has a particular meaning. 500,000 spectators cheering Nino Vaccarella, their driver. It was as if they were racing with me, in a joyful and festive atmosphere. For Nino Vaccarella, what was the best moment he remembers over the years from all the Targa Florio races? When I reached the finish in 1965 and I was able to present to the Sicilians and Ferrari, together with Lorenzo Bandini, a complete Italian victory. Colosano for the last time. And onto the coast road. Ten kilometers to go, and six of them straight. So Vaccarella and Bandini win for Ferrari, with Porsche second, third, fourth, and fifth. What a triumph for the Sicilian-born driver, the headmaster from Palermo, who now joins the great names of the Targa winners. The Sicilians are so excited that they nearly forget that Bandini also did something towards it. But for Vaccarella, winning his own race in his own country, this is a day to remember. For the winners, the laurels of perhaps the only real road race left in the world today. And the 49th Targa Florio ends in the way that every Sicilian dreams. Sulla mia carriera non ha avuto nessun effetto perché quando la Targa Florio è finita e finiva anche la mia carriera. When the Targa Florio competition ended, my career was also ending. So the end of the race did not affect me. The two coincided. I had decided to quit. However, the end of the race had a painful effect on Sicily because in bringing in so many people from abroad, it had made the island famous all over the world. It was a great loss, both to Sicily and to Italian sport. Non poter fare più quella corsa per la Sicilia, per lo sport siciliano e italiano è stata una grossa perdita. Il pensiero è questo, che anzitutto la strada, le strade della Targa Florio... The roads of Targa Florio have been a teaching ground to all drivers. The most important manufacturers in the world have come here to test their cars. Porsche has given the name Targa to one of its new models, proof that these roads are really demanding and offer the possibility for the most thorough and complete tests. I would also add that, as a race, Targa Florio exacted the utmost dedication from a driver. A difficult race, not at all easy like the present ones on the track. When you drive around the Targa circuit, you'll understand what a fast round at 130 kilometers an hour meant in those days, in those cars.
era un circuito che quando i giornalisti vedranno potranno capire con quelle vetture che significava fare il giro veloce a 130 km h Because it's important to just know what goes on around the next corner and uh, you get all sorts of people um, going very quickly here. I think it's very much like a rally. It's uh, like a series of special stages in the Alps. It's fabulous. I'll enjoy it whether we finish high up or not. It's good, it's good fun. very deflating circuit. I think it's good to come here once a year and get your balanced uh, sense of proportion correct. Otherwise, um, you might think you're not better than you are. It's, I reckon, it's the, it's the toughest road race in existence in the world for the motor car and for the driver.